Indiana's governor started the process of reopening with an executive order to allow some elective surgeries and dentist offices to reopen for your routine procedures by April 27th. In new numbers released today, we learned seven more people have died in Indiana just since yesterday. Another 505 people have tested positive. Right now, Indiana has 11,686 cases and 569 deaths reported statewide. Dr. Christina Box, the Indiana Health Commissioner, addressed the outbreak when it comes to long-term health care facilities. Right now, they've had more than 100 deaths in those facilities across Indiana. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services yesterday issued a notice of their upcoming rule change that will now require facilities to notify residents and their representatives of the, of the occurrence of a confirmed COVID-19 infection or the onset of respiratory illnesses among residents or staff. They'll also require regular updates so that residents and families are current on the status and the conditions inside each facility.